channel. So today we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm trying to do some art, homemade art frames for the living room today. Um, we already did two, so this is the one that I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to be doing. And we got this frame at Hobby Lobby. And it's just a blank canvas that looks like this. It's very big. I have three pieces of them. And I'm gonna be using this spackle. It's a lightweight spackle. It's not like the traditional heavy ones. This one's super light, um, just because this is gonna be better to put or use for the frame, the canvas. So like this is how many ounces and it's super light. I can use my fingers. So this is gonna be a different um, video for me, guys. I usually do other things on my channel, but I wanted to share this one to show you that I am, kind of into art as well like when I was a little kid I used to be in art but kind of disappeared or you know like a phase but it's always been inside me so yeah so we'll see how this one looks like and I'll show you guys the final product of the other two so what we're gonna do is just scoop it out and put it all over the canvas so we have to do kind of hard in the beginning when you first start because you have to like really get it on the canvas to stay. What I'm gonna do is cover the whole thing. I feel like I should use my hand with this one. It's so hard. Alright, so it's kind of halfway there, still have a lot of work to do, but this is kind of therapeutic for me. <laughs> I think it helps me relieve, relieve some stress, honestly. So doing this kind of, you know, brings out your art side and you can make your own version. But I've seen a whole bunch of these like on TikTok. So after I spread this all out, we're just gonna um, add some texture to the design. So, you, so when the light hits it, um, you can see. And I'm not a freaking artist, okay? I didn't take art school like that. So this is just for me having fun. So don't even judge me on not doing something correctly. This is all for fun. It is now covered. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to design this canvas. So just evening it out a little, a lot more. Um, right now, I'm trying to see if I should do it like this or do some kind of design on it. Uh, but we are going to be using a tool to make like an arch. To match the other canvases so you'll see that in a little bit what I'm talking about but right now I'm still kind of evening it out sorry I changed my top because I was uh, making a video for <laughs> for my other stuff so my outfit's different now but um, yeah because I took a little break so so I'm probably gonna do something like slanted like So it looks kind of, it's not going down or it's not the other pattern that we did. And it gives it some kind of shadow when it hits the light. I kind of like how this looks. I don't know if you guys can see the pattern that I'm talking about or like the... design of it but you'll see it in a little bit it's like going all this way I don't like to overthink too much when I do these I just like to go with what I come up in my head because I feel like when you think too much you kind of like just lose it you know just so I kind of ended it 
with just like how it looks like now because I like how the light was hitting it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a flower. <laughs> like this is the middle part and it just bursts out. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but I'll show you guys when it's once it's up on the on the on the wall with the rest. You'll see how it looks. But I think I like how this one is looking, and I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And yeah, this is a kind of like a before I add on the other tool that we're gonna be using to match with the rest of the canvas, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me just finish this, and I'll show you the ending part. All right, so the final moment. <laughs> So I'm using this tool, I forgot what it's called, but we have to make like an arch all the way down. Um, just trying to see from the painting so it doesn't look weird. Okay, if I mess up, I gotta start over. I'm gonna laugh if I mess up. <laughs> all right so we made the trail um with a tool and it turned out <laughs> i had to do it like three three times so i just asked for some assistance <laughs> um so now it looks better because i didn't like how it was looking the first time now i'm just cleaning it up so that it doesn't have the little chunk on the lines and that this trail is really hard to do honestly so you might have to try it like a couple times but after that i just gave up and just had someone else do it for me so it doesn't have to be perfect it just looks like this i'm just cleaning up the rest before it dries out so that you can see the lines better you know i think this is so fun to play with actually oh um the cleanup is easy you just have to get it out of the ground or wherever you're doing it before it dries up but after that it's still good as you can see it looks like this i think i'm going to show you guys the full look the next day because it's dark and i can't really show you right now there's a it's too dim over there in the living room so i'm gonna come back to it in the morning so i can show you guys a better look and you can see the shadows of this but this is what it looks like so far it's kind of heavy It turned out perfect. And the canvas costs like two, three for 60 bucks, which is good because this is a big piece. If you were to like buy this somewhere else online with somebody else doing it, it'd be more expensive for sure. Um, All right, you guys, before I head out to the pool, I just wanted to show you what the frames look like from yesterday. I feel like my glasses are crooked. So this is what they look like. Can you see? The one that we did is the one at the end, that one. So yeah, that is the final look for my new decor. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There it is again. It's kind of dark in here right now. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.